All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Facebook boosted posts. So how you can boost some of your Facebook posts that you post directly to your page. So if you've ever been on Facebook, if you run a business page, you know that every time you do a new post like the one here, subscribe to Surfside PPC YouTube channel for free marketing tutorials. And then I have a link here to subscribe. I have a carousel so people can click on any of these URLs and visit my channel. And then you'll always see this button here where it's boost this post to reach more people. So what you can do to make this very easy is you just come to the top first, you write your post so you can do an event here, you can do a job here, you can do an offer. Uh, if you come into photo and video, you can do some of these different options here as well. Upload photos, video, create a photo album. So I just did a photo carousel. So you'll see my post right here. And what I'm going to do right now is just click on boost post. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is this preview here so you can see desktop newsfeed. If we click here again, you'll see mobile newsfeed. So you can see how your post is going to look in the different feeds that people are going to use as they're browsing Facebook. Through audience, what you can do is people you choose through targeting. So you can select a new audience and create a new audience here. You can do people who like your page. So this is a pretty popular option. Usually if I do ever boost posts, I'll just boost it to people who like my page or people who have shown interest in my brand already. You can do custom audiences here. So any of your retargeting audiences or if you have an email list that you wanna send this message out to. Otherwise, you can use some of your saved audiences here as well. So I have a couple saved audiences. One is for a completely different brand, but uh, what you can do is create a brand new audience to target people with your boosted post. Or you can just do something like people who like your page. And what I'll do is I'll click on edit and make sure I'm targeting the entire United States. Okay, so I could do people who like my page living in the United States, so we can scroll down. We can just keep automatic placements on, so it'll just show to as many people as possible. With this ad objective, our ultimate goal is reach, so we're just trying to reach as many people as possible with our post. So with this, what I'm trying to do is get people to see about my YouTube channel. If they already like my Facebook page and they're not subscribed, they'll go through and subscribe. And if they are subscribed already, maybe they'll just remember to go there and see some of my new videos. I'm sending people directly to this page, so they're going to be able to see some of my new videos here. If they come here, they can quickly and easily subscribe if they're already signed into their Google account. So a pretty simple way to drive some more subscribers to my YouTube page. So I'm going to come back over here. So next is duration and budget. So let's just say I do 10 days, $32 budget. It's going to spend this $32 budget over the next 10 days. I can increase this budget if I want. So if I want to do something like $50, you can see I will spend $5 per day. This ad will run for 10 days, ending on August 19th. So you can update the end date here as well. We can scroll down. You can track conversions using your pixel. So it's not going to optimize for conversions on our website. But if they do happen, we are able to tell if they can be tied back to this advertisement. Now we're not tracking any conversions on YouTube at all. I'm not able to actually track my subscribe button back into Facebook ads. But if I were sending traffic to my Surfside PPC page, I can maybe track every time someone does convert on my website. With account, it's gonna be in my Surfside PPC ad account. So for payment method, it'll usually just show your payment method here. I guess I have a seven cent ad coupon. It's probably just a credit from a past advertising campaign. So essentially it'll spend the seven cents and then it'll start charging my primary payment method, which, which is just a credit card. So now all I need to do is click on boost here and it's gonna boost this post for me. Now, once you do that, if I come over to my Facebook ads manager for Surfside PPC, so that's where I publish my boosted posts. If we come over there and you refresh the page, you're going to see our posts right here. So you can see subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel if I click it. So it has this one ad set here. And if we click on it, it'll just have this post. So you can see all of your metrics here as they start to come in. And you can see I just have my post right here. So if I click on edit, you can see my post right here. So it's Surfside PPC and it's going to say subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel for free marketing tutorials. Subscribe here. So essentially, I'm trying to get people to click through to my YouTube channel and I'll be able to run this advertisement for the next 10 days. It'll spend five dollars per day and it will just get more people to see this post, specifically the people who already like my Facebook page. Now, another thing that you're able to do is we have this campaign here now where we're boosting this post. We're spending $50 for this individual ad set is if we come back over to our ad sets here. So we're just looking at the ad set that we created. So in this one, we're targeting anybody who likes our Facebook page. What we can do is click on duplicate here. It's going to duplicate this ad set and I can do original campaign. Click on duplicate. And now what you can see is it's created a brand new ad set here. So what I can do is just 
I can rename this ad set if I want. So what I'll do is I'll just do digital marketing interests. So we're gonna keep scrolling down here. You can see budget and schedule. So we're just spending $50 in this ad set as well. So now if we do this, we're gonna spend a total of $100. It'll spend until August 19th. Don't worry about the error here. We keep scrolling down. We can create a brand new audience. If we already have a saved audience, we can just come in here. Let's just say I wanna target this digital marketing audience. So I'm targeting people in the United States, 18 to 65 plus with interest in digital marketing. Now I can just come in here and click on edit. And maybe what I wanna do is say, okay, since most people who are watching my videos just based on my analytics are between the ages of 24 and 40, let's just say I just wanna target people between 24 and 40, we'll do digital marketing and maybe we'll narrow our audience and people must also match. So YouTube as an interest. So we're targeting anybody with an interest in digital marketing who also match YouTube. So it's a pretty big potential reach here. We could narrow it down a little bit more, but we'll keep it like that. Now what we might wanna do under connections here is exclude people who like our page since we're already targeting them in our other ad set. And we'll click as update. We can save this as a new audience, but I'll just click on update for right now. Okay, click on done. So now we have the interest digital marketing and also YouTube 24 to 40 living in the United States. So that's really all we need to do. We can just keep it as automatic placements and it's optimization will be for link clicks. We don't have to worry about anything else. We could just click on publish here. Okay, so we got everything published here. So now we're running a couple different ad sets. So if we just click on the X over here, we can see digital marketing interests. Maybe this one, what we wanna do is Surfside PPC page likes, and I can target people who like my Instagram page, people who have interacted with my page and different things like that. So you can target a lot of different audiences if you want with your boosted post. Now there's one other way to actually boost posts as well is you can just go through and create a brand new campaign rather than going to your Facebook page and clicking boosted posts here. And you're gonna see right here, I've boosted today by Corey Frankowski. People reach zero, results zero, cause it's still in review. Now we'll start to get some metrics here as it starts to run for a little bit, but we can come over here to ads manager. And one other thing I wanna show you is if we come over to campaigns, we'll just unselect this one here. You can also come into create to create a new campaign. And what you would do is you would click on reach here so you scroll down, we'll just keep it as reach. You can create a split test. You could do campaign budget optimization. Usually I would do that, but I just wanna show you this really quick. So we can click on continue here. You can set up your ad set. So our Facebook page will be Surfside PPC. You would wanna make sure you're using a targeted audience, but I just wanna show you this pretty quickly. Keep scrolling down, automatic placements. Our optimization will be reach. Keep scrolling down, click on continue. And then what you can do here is with reach, you can just click on use existing post here. So if we click on use existing post, you can see we have our Facebook page, Surfside PPC. You just select a post right here so we can select it. And then you can just select any of the posts that you've done and you can start boosting that to people as well. So it's essentially the same thing. You're just trying to reach more people with your post. So I could say subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel, click on continue, and we keep scrolling down. You can see it's the same exact post here keep scrolling down and we can just click on confirm and that would launch a very similar campaign as well if you don't want to go through the other process. But once you come over to your page and you do click on boost post and you choose your targeting, it will just publish it directly to ads manager so you can just monitor and manage everything in there as well. So a couple different ways to boost some of your posts, get more people to see your Facebook posts. So if you spend a lot of time here, you come in and you create an instant experience, you want more people to see that, you can boost that. So that's just something that you're able to do. Same with creating a slideshow. Maybe you just uploaded a new video and you want more people to see it, or you have an event that you wanna promote. So there's a lot of different options there when it comes to boosting posts. Uh, you're not gonna be able to track conversions as well using this method, but it can be very useful, especially for something, if there's something new that you wanna to promote to people, you're not too worried about driving conversions. If you have new products, maybe you're offering a new job or something from your company and you just wanna reach as many people as possible, boosting posts is a great way to do that. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Just a quick note, if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. We're gonna be coming out with a lot of new content. A lot of it's just gonna be geared around pay-per-click advertising, marketing, how to grow your website traffic, and how to continue to grow your business so you can keep driving more and more people to your website. 
so you can keep driving more leads, more revenue, and more sales. So thank you for watching all of our videos. If you want to sign up for our newsletter, go to surfsideppc.com slash newsletter. I'm never going to sell to you. I'm just going to share my content with you so that you can learn more about growing your business with online marketing. Thanks again for watching my videos.